Make sure these are dug in right nice so they don't go anywhere. I'm Chris Thorne, and this is the seven day, $100 Walmart survival challenge. In this challenge, there's only one rule. Take your limited kit and do what you gotta do to make it out the other side. Oh, uh, this was not comfortable. Not at all. I was not a happy camper in here. Oh, but I will say this though, it was like 18 to 20 degrees warmer in here. It was keeping the wind off of me. I actually think my partial A-frame shelter is kind of helping me out a little bit. But um, uh, my hips, my back, my knees, my shoulders hurt because I've been on the ground all night. But uh, yeah, I guess the one upside is I can see through the shelter so I can kind of see what's going on without having to get out, which is kind of nice. But, uh, but yeah, I'm glad this is only seven days because this is going to suck if it was longer. Man, it got super cold last night. Uh, I looked at the uh, the weather app on my phone, which is my camera, same thing I'm filming on. It got down to like 37 degrees last night. I was like, whoo, what I would not give for my Carhartt jacket, <laughs> extra heavy wool socks, just, um, yeah, for whatever reason, the uh, temperature just took a big, huge hard dip south. It dropped like 10 or 11 degrees cold than it was supposed to get. Um, however, like I said, that shelter, um, I thought it was prudent to put everything in my shelter. I went ahead and did that, got that taken care of. Um, didn't really get in my way or bump me around. I have the, just enough room for me to kind of lay there sideways and not really move too much. But uh, yeah, like I said, it kept me like 18, 20 degrees warmer, which I can handle. I can handle like 50 to 60 degrees, especially uh, rigged up like this just fine. Uh, if you're any colder, Obviously, weather appropriate, but uh, I think I'm gonna get the fire started and uh, I think first priority today is to try to finish up the shelter because if it's gonna be get colder. I wanna try to build on this as much as possible. Oh, this is like my favorite stuff in the world to use for like kindling, especially when I'm combining it with the jute that I've got. This stuff satisfaction I don't know what this stuff is if anybody knows what this is uh, let me know I'd love to know if you're here in South Texas but it uh, it burns really well it's always super dry and uh, it works like a charm I am, ooh, I got a little bit of water left. Yes. Cool. I gotta go do that. I'm thirsty. I'm tired. And I'm hungry. Holy crap. Those mountain house meals, man. There's nothing like wild caught food. Mmm. I'm 
walk out. <sighs> I still got a liter of water left, but <sighs> what was I gonna say? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm having brain farts, but uh, at least I have food, I've got water. <sighs> Let's go finish the shelter thing. All in all, I think the frame looks really, really good. Go me! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go and uh, dig these into the dirt a little bit. Make sure these are dug in right nice so they go anywhere. Pooped. <laughs> well, for reference, um, I started this project like 9.45 this morning, and it's 2.15. <laughs> it took a long time, because uh, that little $10 saw um, works really, really good, but you just get so dang tired. I think there are, well, yeah, there's a bunch of dead standing and that's the thing we had to find I was looking for straight pieces of timber which is really 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 hard to find straight wood in Texas anyone in South Texas knows you'll be able to sound off in the comments they'll attest to it straight straight wood in South Texas doesn't really exist it's really hard to find and then I needed I was trying to clear out all the dead standing trying to get rid of all of that and clear that stuff out so all the stuff that's alive and green can sit there and grow and flourished by me getting rid of all the junk. So that's what took so long. It was just a lot of hard work, but I need some water and then I need to start worrying about food outside of the mountain house meals because I have my half portion left in here, but I also um, only have one packet left and I'll have like basically three days with no food. So I need to start looking into foraging and getting fishing lines, things like that set up. But First priority is water. Whew. Got my Sawyer bag. It's definitely not a 10 liter gravity water bag. Oh my gosh. I can tell you right now though, so far I'm proud of myself for hanging in there and not complaining too, too much. I mean, you're gonna hear me be like, this sucks! But it kind of does though. I mean, it's $100 for everything that I could pick up. And that is making me try to think outside the box and realize that what I have, for the most part, isn't good enough. It's not good enough at all.
El agua. Screw that back on. Oh, now I have some more water. I really missed my 10 liter bag. All right, well, time's a ticking. It's getting late. So I've got water. We're gonna be good. I've got my leftovers from last night for my meal tonight. But um, I wanna make sure that I can start looking for food ASAP. It's getting late, so I think we're gonna start foraging. I'm gonna grab my pack and we're gonna um, hit the trails and start looking for some food. All right, so I got my pack, got everything I need. My machete's in here, my cheap, really ghetto super machete. But uh, let's hope I've got enough to uh, take care of business. First stop in our foraging trail is gonna be Pecan Valley. I dub it that because all the huge, those big, huge pecan trees are up there, but they're kind of void of leaves and stuff. So the key is to look on the ground. a good little haul. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna keep looking elsewhere for different types of food. Holy cucamonga. There's not a single desert fruit anywhere. None of, none of all these cactus patches, all of them, all of them are bare right now. And a lot of them don't even look like they're good for consumption to actually eat either, so I gotta count my blessings with the pecan. Oh, yes! Oh, hell yes! This is awesome! Alright guys, so this right here is Tasahio, otherwise known as Christmas tree cactus. Um, I learned about this plant just before my 30-day survival challenge that um, when uh, Zach Fowler uh, came and flew down and joined me on that uh, little excursion, a lot of fun. But with that said, these red fruits right here actually have a Jolly Rancher vibe. They're, they're, they're a fruit, they're very sweet, full of sugars and carbs, really awesome. Um, I think I'm gonna actually leave these just for a couple days until I'm actually ready to eat them because I mean they're all still pristine very bright vibrant red looking really really good plus I don't want to get them mixed in with all the other stuff I might run into while I'm not here but this is a oh man yes with the other cactus going bad seeing this stuff looking pristine uh, I don't see it going bad on me in the in the next day or two so that's a really really good sign but yeah Whew. good 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 Well, all in all, I'm mad disappointed in the lack of cactus petals and cactus fruit. To be expected though, it's winter. Not a whole lot I can do. But I've got some pecans. Oop, wrong pocket. Nah, that's all where all my cordage is. 
But uh, let me dive in and show you what that is. But then right after this, I gotta go batten down the hatches of the A-frame shelter. In case we end up with any rain over the next couple days, I wanna have an ability to kind of close off the fronts or the sides of the shelter. All right, look at that. I'm only gonna take out a couple of them. I did get more than this, but like I said, the sun's going down soon. So that's what they look like when they're useless. This is what they look like in the husks. Some of the husks fell off. But yeah, so we have about three times that many total. I gotta sift through them, check them for holes, bugs, weevils, make sure what's rotten, what isn't, and things like that. It's probably going to be a 50-50 split, but uh, got me some food. <laughs> Wide load. <laughs> Whew. So I need to get this so I can, yeah, I told you earlier. So this is what I was trying to do, come over to this side and kind of close things off to help mitigate any moisture or rain if it comes this week at all from actually getting into the shelter. Yeah, so what do you guys think? All in all, I'm really happy uh, with the shelter and how it turned out. So far, is it perfect? No, it's not, it's not really. But I'm still proud of it. Uh, it took a lot of work, a lot of effort, but I think as far as if any cold weather or rain hits, I think this is going to be a drastic improvement for what I experienced last night. <sighs> Speaking of cold weather, you know what I miss? I miss my shovel. I could totally use a shovel. Yeah, none of these cold or hot. But let's see if we can build something my favorite dry kindling in the world well not really this is better stuff out there but it exists and it, it works and it was free so doesn't flex all my hundred dollar budget big spender i am over here dropping a whole freaking hundred dollar bill on a survival gear man i should get an award for the dumbest person in bushcraft and outdoors and survival Put in my jute, my tinder. There we go. Woo! Love it. Oh, I love me some fire. Cause it's getting cold. And I don't like it. I hate cold weather. That's why I'm here in South Texas. So when South Texas gets cold, I am not a happy camper. <laughs> It's not bad though. We only got the 37 last night. wasn't too insane. We had to do worse than my 30 day challenge. Granted I had a hammock, but it is what it is. Fire likes buddies, so give it buddies. Buddies, buddies, buddies. Talking to myself cause I'm alone. I got no one to talk to on the phone. Cause everybody uses Facebook cause they're stupid. I'll get crap for that somewhere. That's all right though. Got to put on my super fancy headlamp. You guys should be jealous. Y'all rocking O-lights and through nights. Y'all don't even know about this Ozark Trail business. Y'all don't even know. 
You don't even know. Whew. Got fire. Oh, <laughs> feeling good. All right, so I got my leftovers. Get to eat that tonight. Super, super excited. Gotta see if I can get this thing out. Ah! Talented. the other bowl. Wham. So, these are my leftovers from last night. I am freaking starving. So, I want to make sure I can go and reheat it. So, wham. Ain't nothing fancy. Go ahead and cook that over the coals. Oh, put it back in the cup. Boom. Does it work? Kind of. Ish. Ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, get my stick. I have got to find and like make me a shovel, find me a shovel. I learned my lesson last night, so I'm gonna take some of these coals and put them out here, a little farther away from the fire. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that's a little more appropriate. Reheat my meal. Should be good to go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, my gosh. After a whole day. Of work. Woo! Yes. Mmm. <sighs> I can't wait to eat. It may be simple eggs and bacon. But, oh man. <clears throat> I have been looking forward to this meal all day. <laughs> yes. Oh. Whew, so good. Mm. Well. You may have asked, because I said the same thing earlier. Chris, you got a pot. And you got a bowl. But you took the food that was in the bowl, then you put it in the pot, then you cooked it on the pot, then you put it back in the bowl. I get that. It's kind of like a waste of utensils. But, with that said, I don't have a lot of luxuries here. <laughs> there might be some purists out there who might come at me sideways, but I got a $100 kit. This is cheap stuff. My shelter is, is jank. I'm trying to make it the best that I can. I'm putting a lot of work into it. I'm very proud of it. But it's still, I mean, even a $17 to $40 hammock would still be more comfortable. And then like a tarp. But um, I'm just taking all the nasties that I can. You know what I'm saying? It's like some Grey Poupon commercial for eggs. Mmm. So, something I wish I had was pine trees. I know Texas does have pine, but not here. I gotta go about two hours in any other direction but west to find pine trees. Ooh. 
Why, you say it? Pine boughs, would have been awesome. I could put this in my shelter, put them around my shelter to block out even more wind, trapping even more heat. I'd probably be snug as a bug if I had some pine boughs. Oh my gosh. Those people like on Ohio, channels like TA Outdoors and all those guys who have access to all the birch and aspen, uh, maples, pine, they have all these trees. I'm like, I, I feel so like envious <laughs> of the stuff they have access to as far as straight grain wood, uh, soft wood to go mess with. And just here, we're like in an arid climate. So there's a lot of drought resistant stuff here. And I'm not exactly gonna go to like cactus boughs because that would be painful and not gonna work. So cactus boughs, could you imagine that? That would be like the dumbest stunt ever. <sighs> What's going on everybody? <laughs> well, I'm here in my awesome shelter. About to lay down for the night. It's a lot warmer in here. Super happy that I've got my food in my system. I've got my shelter built up a lot better than it was when I got here day one. Super amped. Oh, I wish I had pine boughs. My my back would be more comfortable. <laughs> but with that said, guys, today was pretty awesome. I feel pretty accomplished. Pretty proud of myself. But there's always more work to be done. Oh. <sighs>